they all started under his watch. He's a crook. He's never been anything but a crook. He's a top person at the Council on Foreign Relations. He was let off the hook. In fact, he, he tried to hide all his assets in his wife's name because he thought they were coming after him. I mean, what a goon. I mean, you, you would, you know, would have thought he would have asked his attorney, can I do that? And the attorney would have said, no, they just go take him anyway. I mean, this guy is a scumbag. And, you know, this firm started as a front for clandestine operations in 1916 when it was Star Holdings. And then eventually it worked with the OSS. It's been a front for the CIA for years. It's one of the reasons why it wasn't taken down. They were using the CIA, uh, the AIG outlets throughout the world as a cover. And plus they, uh, their uh, um, insurance companies are handling the, uh, uh, the retirements of many, many people and I understand including people in Congress. And, uh, and of course they were up to their eyeballs in derivatives and they were, they were naked. Uh, they would, they would do it, they'd take the premium and put it on the bottom line and have no reserves for losses. I mean the whole thing was insane. And he was behind the whole thing. He's just a liar and a crook. And I hope he sues me. What's wrong with deflation? If if inflation erodes the buying power of money, doesn't deflation increase the buying power of money? If you've got a job. Isn't it a good thing to purchase more for the same money? No. It's not a good thing under those circumstances. And the reason why is the collapse factor. You get high unemployment, 30 or 40 percent unemployment, uh, you've got uh, uh, commercial activity to have dropped 40 or 50 percent. Uh, you've got uh, all sorts of asset prices dropping 60 to 100 percent. It's the worst possible thing that can happen to a country. And that's why don't they like a, like inflation to run around 3 percent? Makes everything look yeah, good. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. And, and if you have a, a large growing economy and, and and you have a lot of people uh, within that economy uh, uh, that are increasing uh, the competitive uh, awareness of, of uh, the competitive awareness uh, of the country you you need more money than it's that's available and you could do this under gold standard. Now, what happens is that treasuries and central banks get carried away and do what our central bank has done and increases on a long-term basis money and credit by more than 15%, which is insanity. I mean, you know, over a six-year period uh, or so, uh, you end up with very little buying power if you continue to increase money and credit at that rate, if you have money in the first place. So you have $100, and say six and a half years later, you still get the $100, but the cost of everything has gone up $95. So you only have $5 in purchasing power to left. Terrible. It's stealth theft is what it is, Mm -hmm. like a thief in the night. Um, Our third question is, uh, we had the gold standard until 1971. Why didn't that prevent the Great Depression? And why should we believe that a new gold standard will prevent future recession depression? Well, the reason we didn't uh, have a depression, we had a depression with the gold standard in the 1930s, was the Federal Reserve cut off funds. In uh, 1929 and 1930, nobody could get any money, just like now. And then all of a sudden they realized their error and, and started pouring money into the economy. Now this time, they started pouring money in five years ago because they started coming. They didn't make it go away, but they did do it this time. But last time, even though they had a gold standard, 
they wouldn't lend until it was too late. Okay. And I want to, when I see these economists saying that that wasn't the cause of the uh, Depression, that Smoot Hartley was, which is tariffs, I want to throw up. Because it wasn't. Then the tariffs were only up to 5%, which is nothing. Um, let's see. Here's a recommendation here that, uh, um, he says, one of, one of, one of our programs, you ended the show by advising people to stock up on toilet paper. He suggests baby wipes. He says that is the, uh, uh most requested item by soldiers over in Iraq. Uh, a friend of his that prepares packages for the soldiers. So uh, that is a very important thing to have. Uh, and uh, he says he buys a size box for each member of the family. He says this could be the premier future bartering item of all time. Well, we'll have to remember that. When hyperinflation starts, will the Obama administration enact tougher restrictions on exchanging dollars for foreign currencies or foreign stocks? Could be. How many? Um, get more questions here. Well, let's see if I can get one in here. Well, I, I'm still finishing. Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Yeah. And uh, what will real inflation be by the end of the year? By the end of the year, probably around what it was before, 10 or 12 months ago, around 13.6%. It's around... Nine to ten percent right now. Um, this also is in. Uh, there's been a recent surge of news on the anticipated flu pandemic, planned for an outbreak the end of April in the alternative news media. This includes preparations being made outside of Chicago and throughout the state of New York. Can you comment comment on this? Is this real? I don't know. Can't comment. Okay, another question in. Uh, uh, when you forecast the next downturn in the market and how long will it last before the next bull rally? Well, I think we're going to get a correction here over the next. Uh, in fact, I think today was the day the market really topped out. And uh, I think we're going to go down and revisit 6,600 on the Dow. And so uh, that's where I think it's going. And she had a third question real quick, Bob, but it was all about the IMF, and I thought we handled, or you, you mentioned it, uh, um, what what will it do to the price of gold if they sell it into the market? Yeah, I got that here, too. Okay. From Chris? Yes. Yeah. Um, it won't do anything. I explained it before. Yeah. All right. She must I mean, it's already it. been discounted, and, 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 and nothing dire is going to happen. So, Chris, you need to listen to the beginning of the program later on. Thank you for joining us. We'll be back on Monday. Thank you, Bob. I appreciate it. Thank you. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.